This ship is on a collision course. Can I show you something I think you should all see? Come with me. I think everybody's forgotten what it's like for guests to stay in this hotel. Dan, April. How much is this room? $250 a night, Friday and Saturdays, $180 the rest of the week. Let me show you what $250 gets you at the Monticello. Let me turn the lights out. You see that? This black light shows up bodily fluids. That's, That's exactly disgusting. what you're seeing. I wouldn't want to lay on that bed. Where are these mattresses come from, Philip? The house in Arizona. Your house? Yes. Wow. Those two holes there? That's cigarette holes. Uh-oh. Burns. Watch out. It's everywhere. There. Don't touch there. Oh, jeez. I was totally grossed out when I seen that bed. It was sickening. $250 to sleep in Phil. Oh, my God. Philip's semen right there. It is everywhere. <laughs> Does that make anybody else feel sick? Yeah. Because right now, I am fucking disgusted by this foul, polluted bed. I felt dirty. I'm a clean person. It was disgusting. I don't know why you're running a hotel. You're just ripping people off. You don't care for the customers. And you don't care for your staff. Who do you care for? I care about my staff. The first thing you said to me when I arrived here, Philip, what's the problem? Staff. They're bleeding the clock. Huh. No way. That's what you told me. I've got half it written down at home where I put at least 100 hours free in here. We will come in an hour, two hours early, not punch in, and then we will work late to get what we need to get done. You have an estate to the tune of 10 fucking million dollars and a chef that puts 100 hours in for nothing. Or is he lying? He's not lying. He's here all the He's time. Not. I'm surprised you guys are here. Oh. I'm the only earner for my family, and I make 500 bucks every two weeks. This is fucking crazy. And you rock up here with a plate with hotel help. What the fuck is going on? These guys are your bread and butter, your fucking backbone. But they're terrified to tell you the truth. You can't keep on cutting corners and humiliating them because they're the problem, the fact that it's not busy. Look within. It starts from the fucking top. Amen. Yeah. Could you just excuse me and leave me in here on my own with Philip? Thank you. Now, can you fuck your man up? I don't have all the answers, Gordon. I'm trying. Give me one fucking answer. Give me something. You're abusing your staff. What kind of message does it send to them when you fill the car park with classic cars and they're fucking struggling? Do you think it's fair? Do I think it's fair? No. No. Do they deserve better? Of course. Why are you doing it? I don't have an answer for that. I don't know why I'm doing that. Get out, Philip. Leave me alone. Get the fuck out of here.